thought I would show you guys the Gibson Inn, which is where we stayed in Apalachicola. The whole place obviously used to be an old house that they renovated into a hotel. Um, there's three of these buildings on the property. This is the main one. There's another smaller one and they're building another one. Um, all on kind of one little city block or about that size. This is walking out of the room. It's three stories tall. Everything in there looks super old. All the wood creaks. This is their front desk area. And we walk right out. It's got a nice wraparound porch on the place. It is a hair expensive, but what do you expect on uh, places like this this time of year? Did get a good parking spot, so that was nice. For breakfast, I stopped in at the Apalachicola Chocolate Factory. That row of items there on the left were all desserts, but they also have breakfast and coffee there. I got a ham, egg, and cheese croissant with some sausage gravy. It was perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day today. I just woke up, it's about 7.30 in the morning and we are in Apalachicola, Florida. It's about a four hour drive from uh, from my home. And um, wife and I are up here, just kind of hanging out and she's back at the hotel. We are gonna head out to either the Apalachicola National Forest or we're gonna head out to Taytel and do some wheeling, do some driving around. I've never been out here um, in the woods out here. So while we're up here and nothing to do today, we're gonna go. Just had some great breakfast from, I think it was Apalachicola Chocolate Factory. Uh, they have a bunch of desserts there, but also breakfast items and coffee and all kinds of stuff. So uh, that was on point. And uh, yeah, we got about a 20 minute drive until we get into Take Tail. So I'll see you then. All right guys, welcome to Tate's Hill. Um, it's a state forest. If you're not familiar with it, you can look it up. But uh, it's right off the coast in Florida. In fact, behind me, you can see that is the Gulf of Mexico. And if you look close, the island out there, you can see Mexico. Just kidding. That's actually the St. George Island. There's a, uh, another state park on the tip of that island I was at yesterday. Um, that's where I filmed the uh, video for the lift. It's filmed over there in the state park. Three bucks for one person, you can stay all day. There's beaches, uh, there's like a stargazing little platform if you wanna be there overnight. There is a campground in there, but if you're looking to do uh, any camping out there, make sure you book it ahead of time because they stay booked up pretty far in advance. I looked it up last night. I think the next campsite availability was like the middle or late August and it's late July right now. So, but really nice place, definitely worth checking out. And if you're unfamiliar of why it's called Tate's Hell, let me show you. Basically, I'll freeze here and you can read it, but Cliff Notes version. Cape Tate went off into the swamp and to kill a panther that was killing his livestock. Ended up getting confused. Stayed out there for seven days, I think it was. Got back into civilization. His dying words was, my name is Cape Tate. I just came from hell. There you go. So let's get to it. I did just see a uh, giant black bear that was standing up on his hind legs, but I wasn't quick enough to uh, catch it on camera. Let's see if we can find another one. And 
guys keep thinking about that uh, poster back there telling the story about Mr. Tate that, that the forest was named after. Could you imagine out here? I mean, you're lost out here for days. There's obviously black bear, have been forever. You've got gators, you've got snakes, you've got probably wild boar out here. Lord knows what it was back then, probably had panther. He said he was hunting panther, so. I mean, not to mention that, then you think about all the insects that are out here that are gonna bite you, sting you. Every time I come to the stop on this road right now, there's probably about 30 or 40 horse flies that are surrounding the truck and just all over the truck. And if you don't have horse flies where you come from, uh, they bite and they're big. They're about the size of, uh, I don't know, like a small wasp, but they're a fly or yeah. And they bite and they're a major pain in the ass. Uh, the only good thing about them is they're slow. They're not fast like house flies. So they're pretty easy to kill if they get on you. As long as you're a little bit quick, you'll get them. But uh, yeah, man, I couldn't imagine being out here for days. Ain't no way. I put that gun on myself and end it. Cause that would be better than trying to survive out here for days by myself drinking swamp water. Nope. Do. So we just pulled up to the dwarf cypress tree uh, boardwalk. I don't know if you can see it there in the background. But anyway, um, we're gonna go check that out. Apparently, it's a pretty hot spot here in Tate's Hill. Don't know if you can hear that. But there's definitely a gator or a bear trotting through the water right about there. This black swamp water. It's pretty big, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna lean more toward gator. Check out how short these cypress trees are. So I was driving around Tate's Hill for a little bit and a lot of it was just flat roads. And you know, when you're off road, there's three things that you don't want to be without or three rules you don't want to break, right? So I don't know the area, I don't have a winch and I have no sex cell signal. So I just called it really. Um, everything I felt comfortable doing was pretty boring for a video. So uh, yeah, we're gonna head back into town see if we can find something out there to do. So I wanna show you guys this. Originally, I had a camp spot picked out for this couple days I was gonna be here. Uh, now it's Florida in July, right? So it's super hot, super muggy. But I figured, you know, I got a battery power for the AC unit on the camper. We we're on the coast, maybe it'll be a little breezy. I only got to sleep with the AC on, so we probably can make do. Well, I couldn't make do. <laughs> I think I got like a couple hours in last night and um, the eight, uh, power bank said that if it was going to run the AC uh, with the compressor on like full blast, it was going to run for like three and a half hours. Um, so I turned it off and then within about 10 or 15 minutes of it being off, uh, it just got super hot inside. I mean, it's 95 in the shade in early morning, so it's, it's, it's hot. So anyway, this was the site I was going to stay at last night. Let me show you that. So this is right off the main road. That's the Gulf of Mexico right there. You come in, it's a nice carved out piece of woods. Uh, there is no hookups here, it's dry camp. And I got the camper parked there where I was gonna stay last night. You got a nice picking table, a couple of chairs, fire pit. 
uh, the owners of this property actually live right back here. Um, but yeah, this whole spot here is yours. And honestly, it's a good spot. If I come back here in the winter time, I will definitely get this spot again. Uh, I think I paid 60, 60 bucks, 65 bucks a night. Um, so in my opinion, well worth it. Really nice spot. If you have a big RV, you can park this here. I mean, it's a pretty good size. If I can show you. It's a nice spot. The gravel is all leveled and compact, so that's really nice. But yeah. So yeah, I'll leave a link to this hip camp spot uh, in the description. If you want to stay here, I'll leave you the link. You can come hang out. I've been driving around for a little while, ended up going out to uh, Port St. Joe, drove around town, didn't really see too much there. On the way back, I came across this spot that I saw, this random dirt road. It looked to be pretty short, so I followed it down here, and this is what you end up at. So you can see the main road right there, that stop sign, right? It's a nice little spot out here. Obviously, people come out here because there's trash from 4th of July, probably. It's about to rain, so you can see it's raining over there. So this is right off uh, Main County Road, State Road here. Check out this spot. Not a bad spot. Rain's definitely coming in, so probably gonna hightail it back to the hotel. Chill out for a little while. 